a member of Energetic Forum, uh, Tisha Tang, found this uh, this old book called The Boy Electrician, which you can find on Scribdy. And um, there's a chapter in here, uh, that, and I remember this book when I was like age 11. I remember flipping through this book. It's a cool book. A lot of interesting things that you can build. Um, but one thing that I uh, was kind of interested in here is this thermopile. Um, you can um, uh, use uh, two dissimilar metals and arrange them around in a ring and then put a candle or a uh, alcohol light under here and produce electricity. Now this article, or this uh, chapter, says that you can um, um, create, you know, around six volts and uh, a quarter of a watt, a quarter of an amp, um, which works out to be like one and a half watts. Um, that's pretty amazing. I don't think that, uh, and, you know, I'm kind of skeptical that you can, can achieve that, but maybe uh, somebody wants to try to replicate this and do that. Um, I am trying to do it with uh, copper wire here, and it, th this thing calls for silver wire, but I'm using um, iron or steel wire. Um, so it's dissimilar metals, but I may not get the same results. And this is a um, bracket from a garbage disposal, um, which I just covered with insulator tape. I'm going to try to uh, hook up uh, just an experiment, hook this up, and see if I can generate a current. Okay, I just kind of quickly taped this down. It's not very neatly done, but this is just a crude experiment. I'm going to put this little candle in here. And I'm going to try to light it here. There we go. And we see a voltage. Move this over a little bit. It's only 1.6 millivolts. Uh, there's not a lot of heat from the candle, but um, uh, if I blow the candle out, you'll see the voltage um, drop down here. Now I'm kind of surprised that it drops all the way down to zero because I would have expected with dissimilar metals that this to be th this would be sort of like a battery and generate a little bit of um, voltage here, but um, but what we see instead is it drops all the way down to zero. I think I have a little uh, ember gr going here. Look at that smoke coming right up to the camera. That is kind of neat. It's like a vortex of smoke. And we still have a voltage from it. Uh, I'm going to try to put that out. There we go. Um, no longer smoking, and there we go. It's pretty much dropping to zero volts. This is uh, just needing to cool down like a heat sink. Okay, we're going to light it again. not going very good. Candle fail. Hang on. Okay, brand new candle. Give this a shot. I'll hold this above the candle a little bit.
uh, device to the makeshift uh, stand for it here for the air capacitor. <laughs> Yeah, I can feel the heat uh, from the candle. It's pretty, pretty hot now. So I'm definitely not getting very good results. Uh, this is only like one and a half millivolts. So I'm wondering how uh, he achieved six volts from this. Um, now he used, used uh, 50, uh, 50 pairs. I only, I have, uh, I didn't, I got lazy and didn't do them all, so, um, but extrapolating uh, three times bigger than this, I would only expect, if it's linear, I would only expect uh, three millivolts or four millivolts, still well below six volts, um, so the silver may really make a difference here, um, but this is just a really cool idea of being able to create electricity from a candle 